I just got my new reveal box from Graphy Studios that is the hinged version. So these were displayed at WPPI. So I'm gonna show you, I haven't even seen it yet. So I'm opening up the box right now. So hopefully it looks as great as I think. Okay, here it is. I haven't even looked at it yet. Nice. It's very, very big and very heavy. So what I loved about Graphy so far is their packaging is very nice. I mean, look at this bag even. So let me see, I'm gonna have to take this out. Okay, I got it out of the box. So let's see here. Oh shoot, I still can't do it by myself. This thing is so heavy that I couldn't do it with one hand. Oh my God, I still am struggling here. So here we go, here it is. Um, I also asked for a print, it was a free, free print from WPPI, so that's what's inside. So look at this, I got the white, um, it's kind of a, that white wood, I think it's PL01 color wise. It has a texture of wood um, on a reveal box. And instead of it being a lid that comes off, this is the hinged version. It has these really cool hinges right there. So I don't have to put the lid somewhere else. It's magnetized, so when it closes, it's forced close. This is a 20, 20 image box. I, um, wow. So it does have a false bottom, I think. No, it does not. Oh, I forgot that I ordered these. Um, these are with the V-groove in it. I've never had those before and wow, it matches the box so well. I'm so impressed with that. So that is pretty amazing. Look how thick that is. Wow. So there's 20 inside of here and they fit perfectly except me trying to put that in there. Okay. So I had to have another, I had to use two hands again. But look at how thick that is because it's, these are so heavy. I did not imprint on the bottom. Um, I left it as it is, but you can put your logo or whatever on the bottom. I wanted to keep it as clean as possible. I do have it on the bottom of the box though, nothing in the inside. The one thing with this style is that they do not yet have the spot for a false bottom or USB like they do in the other boxes. Um, so, or some of the other boxes. So this is it standing up like that. It is much larger, this is 11 by 14. It does have these little rubber on the bottom. I have my logo on the back. I wasn't sure how that was gonna look and I do like the way it looks on the, on the wood a lot better than on my legacy box. It did not come out well on my legacy box. I think it looks a lot better on this faux wood texture than it does on Legacy. So this is a side-by-side -side comparison. This is my 3XM box that I have been using for quite some time. This is their walnut hinged version, 11 by 14. This is the hinged from Graphy. You can see there's a sizable difference. I did notice there's a sizable difference in the legacy box that I also purchased. Um, you can also see the front framing of it. There is more area around that frame on this side than there is on this side. Uh, unfortunately, this only comes in one, actually three colors, uh, which is fine. They don't have the dark walnut like I do, like I'm used to. But I like this white box. It looks a lot more feminine, and I think it will work for anyone. And I'm um, really digging this hinge. These are the hinges that are currently on the 3XM box. You see there's a lot more wood texture looking. Again, this is a laminate here, just like this is. But the feel and look is dramatically different. So I went ahead and opened both boxes here. You can see the hinge version of, of this one 
when it opens up. Um, it does have a replaceable, you can take this out and put in any image that you want. It pops out and it does have the USB on, on the top on the 3XM. So it pops out and then you would be able to replace your photo. That's right there. You cannot do that on the graphy box. So you would need to have something elevating it so that it's at the very top. There is no way of keeping it or switching out the image. You just have to change out the image yourself. But you can see the differences between the two here on the inside. It's a faux velvet. And uh, on the inside, it's all the same texture as the outside of the box. That is what I chose. You can see the size of the ribbon difference. And this one's on this side. And it only pops up right here. Um, they do have a false bottom version. There's velvet on the inside. It does feel pretty good. You can see the thickness difference as well. It's a velvet and how, how thick this is. I think this presents as a lot more value. I love 3XM and I love the product. Um, and most of the women that I've worked with in the past do like that product, but I think they'll love this one. And especially when I can figure out a way to do a USB inside of here. And this fake robe's awesome. And it puts it in a different level. One last thing I wanted to show was the mats. This is the 3XM mat here. So I should probably put it over here. You can see I do have an, I did do it like more of an off-white. And then they have a basic backing here. Um, that is their white cord normally. Um, and it's the same on the back as it is in the front. This is their more expensive premium version. Um, so this one slides in and it has one, one slide in over here and it locks in place. This is the premium version of their locking mat. Um, this is the, of course, the basic version from, from Graphy. And um, it is, um, this texture is different. Um, it feels slightly different. It is the same in the back as it is in the front. And also the this portion here is feels almost the same. And you can see a unified color right there. This is their basic version. So it opens up like that. So it is not their thicker version. So the 3XM and the graphy sizes are identical. If you get Graphy's larger one, it's going to be huge, be really, really thick. So I would stick with the, the standard size mats, not the double. One last thing I wanted to show you was literally how they look thickness wise. Um, the bottom is 20 and the top one is 20. I can get a little bit more than 20. I can probably get 21 on the top and that is using 3XM. You also can use, you get that extra space up there, so you get almost 22. But you can see the width and the other dimensions gives you more of a feeling of really how much different they are. There's no, like, this has this little lip here. There's no lip here. You kind of have to, like, lift it up yourself. I thought I'd do one more quick video on the print that I sent out to Graphy. This is for my free print. I've never used them before for any printing. I do all my printing myself. So this is my first time outsourcing to Graphy. I wanted you to see what it looked like. Uh, this has already been framed and mat I'm sorry, matted. Um, I did no special color corrections, nothing. This comes straight out of my, my camera, the way that I want it to look on screen before I would have sent it out to be printed um, through my printer itself at home. So here it is. Okay, so here it is. So let me take it out of here. My unprofessionalism here. Um, I'm really impressed. <laughs> I don't think the colors on this screen that I'm looking at right now do it justice because the color balance is perfect. It does not look as orange as I see it right now on my phone. 
Um, her skin tones are perfect. And I would actually send Graffy work, to tell you the truth. I mean, if they can print like this, and I don't have to do any matting, it's already pre-matted, that's pretty darn good. Um, quality to me is, is right on there. It's not overly glossy. And I used, um, I think I used their Hanamuo version, uh, and it wasn't a glossy paper. I do want to point out one other thing. Um, this is the very basic mat that I was able to get. And look at the color difference. I di wasn't specific on the color, and I don't remember why I chose this color. I think it was the same color as the actual box itself. So that's why I may have chose that. And this is, I believe, their bright white. So you can definitely tell the difference in color. Well, I hope that helped you. Um... I hadn't seen any video like this comparing exactly those two boxes, especially since the graphy version is really not even released yet. So talk to you soon.